Hello everyone and welcome to the Senior Spotlight for the spring 2021 semester. My name is Wes McKinney. We stay on the hardwood just like we did catching up with Dave Malumba. Today we get to meet Concord men's basketball forward Liam Evans. Liam, so great you could take, take some time today to join us. No worries. Thanks, Wes. Yeah, man, uh, a very unique journey just like Dave coming from Europe. You come from Australia to Saginaw Valley State in in Michigan, a Division II school there, and then you make your way to Concord. So if you could, I guess, maybe pick up the story uh, maybe about halfway through high school and then just take us from that time until you get to Concord. Yep, so halfway through high school um, was when I was starting to get very serious about basketball and I'd kind of made it my, my ultimate goal to play college basketball. So I was playing at an academy school at Box Hill Senior there where we had a high school team because typically the system in Australia is you play AAU basketball, it's more club related. So I played for a high school team there and I also played for another club team in Kilsyth. And my high school team took a USA tour in 2014 and I got to experience playing some high school teams over here, going to some NBA games, just you know a bit of the lifestyle in America and I, I loved it. And I knew at that point that it was what I wanted to do. Um, but as far as actually making it all happen, it didn't get serious until pretty much my senior year. I started to play a lot better. I was a standout um, player in high school and AU, and I started getting some film together. And I had a, uh, a coach um, by the name of Luke Sunderland. He helped me with you know contacting some college coaches and he had the contact through Saginaw, um, who coach Randy Ruth, he, he heavily recruited players from Australia. Like that, my freshman year, we actually had five Australians on the team. Um, so I made the decision to go there a little bit based off there was some other Australians there. It would be a bit of an easier transition. And I spent two years there and I didn't perform as well as I, I would have liked. And, you know, the you know, they, I didn't get along with the coaching stuff as, as well as, you know, I would have liked or just things didn't work out, you know. But um, after two years, I decided to transfer and that's when Coach May pretty much, as soon as I was in the portal, he was recruiting me and um, I liked I liked the conversations I had with him and, you know, I, I'd seen Concord and I'd, you know, looked and seen that Dave was there from Belgium and stuff, just looking at some other internationals and I made the decision to come to Concord and it was... It was a great decision because I loved both years here. So, Yeah, so uh, I guess my next question would be, what kind of generated the the interest for, from Coach May in, in your communication with him? And then obviously you say you look at the roster and you see other internationals. Was that kind of a tipping point for you? It wasn't a tipping point, but it, but it helped, you know. I just wanted to, to come somewhere where – the, the coach was for the players, you know, he, he, he cared about us and, you know, it wasn't all just about numbers and, you know, he he, he, he told me that he'll, all he asked of me was to, to come in and work as hard as I possibly can, to play as hard as I possibly can and, you know, everything else will work itself out. And that's just the sort of attitude that I look for in, in you know, in a team and coaching staff. Style-wise, you know, I, I don't know what kind of style Saginaw Valley plays, but obviously the Mountain East is a lot of up and down you know, big guys are extremely athletic. They can shoot the ball inside and out. They usually rebound it at a high rate. What was it like trying to fit into the style that Concord was playing when you first arrived here? So, yeah, the the Gouliac where Saginaw plays is a slight, it's slightly bigger league and they play play slower, more half-court play. Um, you know, you it's not uncommon to see a lot of guys who would be 6'10 upwards at the center position. So I was actually more of a, a power forward you know sometimes on the wing it was so the adjustment for me coming here was um adjusting my game to more of a bigger position you know staying inside working on hook shots um a lot of finishing you know um that was the, the major adjustment and also just the pace of the game it was much quicker um you just had to learn how to get up and down the floor you know much quicker and those were those were the two big things i noticed Yes, speaking of that pace, you you know, you're taking some time to fit in here. The first of December of your junior year, so we go back to December of 2019, you kind of have a breakout game. You go for 12 points, 
nine rebounds, three assists, and three steals against a Notre Dame team that likes to get up and down. Was that kind of a point in your junior season where you was like, okay, you know, I think I've kind of got the handle here on the pace of play and the style of play in the Mountain East? Yeah, that was. I, I do remember that game. Um, it, it just gave me a lot of confidence, you know, to, to come out and be able to have a huge impact off the bench. Because um, I, I, I knew I was playing, you know, a, a bench role at that point, And I just, you know, was – wasn't getting into much of a rhythm before that hand, but I mean, it was it was just felt great to come out and you know get some makes and it gave me a lot of confidence going forward. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and another game from that junior season, I think that uh, stands out. It it wasn't a loss at Fairmont State, but you go for 15 points, 12 rebounds. Um, actually, I think it was three players for Concord that had double doubles in that game at Fairmont State a, against a team that plays extremely physical. What was that game like playing against a team that's you know normally nationally ranked and playing the style that they do? That game was, uh, you know, I, I got off to a good start and um, it just became one of those. It, the game stayed close most of it, and it just you know the the stats that all came out of it are all great, but it was just more we were just trying to win um, and we were just trying to do whatever it took to get us over the edge, but we couldn't um, get that game. Um, but yeah, they're. Fairmont State's always been an extremely talented roster, and they, you know, they play really hard defense as well. So, so you have to deal with some injuries at the end of your junior year that kind of slows you down there. The last two, three weeks of the season, Concord finishes the season at the Mountain East tournament, and then about a week or so later, the the, the basically the world shuts down with the pandemic starting there, uh, the middle of yeah. March. You head back home to Australia, correct? Yeah. So how, how tough was it, obviously, trying to rehab that ankle injury that you had, but at the same time, you're trying to get ready for your senior season in the middle of a pandemic, and the and the and I guess like the restrictions in Australia, completely different than what they were here in the States, right? Yeah, so that was, that was honestly one of the toughest uh, summers I've ever had as far as working, working out for college. I, I came back and... You know, I had a lot longer at home. It was about about five months instead of the usual two and a half, three. Um, everything was shut down, like indoor basketball courts, gyms, all of that. So I had to find a way to. I got used to working, working out on the outdoor hoops, um, doing more body weight push up, sit up type workouts because I had no uh, gym access. But I really just was trying to do whatever I could. Um, but it was it was a lot harder because it's just not the same as the typical summer where I would, you know, play open gyms with other teams and play pickup. We couldn't do none of that. Um, I'd get together with coaches and do training sessions. So all that stuff got restricted. But you know, I did found I found a way to to stay in shape and to to work on my game. And um, it was honestly just a character building experience. You know, having being restricted so much and you know, still having to put in the work. Into your senior season here at Concord, obviously shortened um, to just uh, 17 or 18 games there. But uh, probably the most mem- memorable win for you guys comes on the 20th of January. Concord upsets West Liberty, ranked number four in the nation at the time, 91-83. Liam, what was the what was the mindset? of the team going into that game obviously Concord's had some success against West Liberty the success has come here at home facing the nationally ranked Hilltoppers what was the mindset what was the message of the team that night before that game that night we it was almost like we had a bit of an edge and everyone was just uh you know really really prepared for that game perhaps even more so than others it was just we wanted to we knew that they West Lib has a history of not shooting the ball very well in the Carter. And, you know, we just, we wanted to take that to our advantage and come out and just play as hard as we possibly could. And we, we, we kept it close the whole game, you know, and we really, you know, as it, as it kept going, like, you know, we've got these guys, we were really believing. Um, and I think it was just the, the whole team's belief and coming together that allowed us to pull that off. I'm not sure that anyone's had uh quite the home game that you did in the last game of your career it comes against davis and elkins that wild double overtime game here at the carter center in the in the playing round of the mountain east conference tournament you had scored 22 points earlier in the season against weslin in a home win 
but you go 21 points, 10 of 15 shooting, 8 rebounds, and if I'm not mistaken, it was in a career high 41 minutes. What was that? Obviously no fans that night, which was a bummer, but what was what was playing in that game like? And like I was telling Dave, the atmosphere would have would have been unbelievable that night. But what was what was it like playing in that game? It was really intense, tiring, um, and just honestly a lot of fun at the same time. I, I live for playing those type of games, um, and it's just a it's something you look back on and you know you win or loss. It would be disappointing if it was a loss, but it's just a it just feels great to, to be competing at that level and, you know, that kind of, uh, those kind of situations. And it would have been amazing if there was a, a crowd there. Um, but mostly my mindset going into that game was I had the understanding that it could be, you know, one of my last games if I was not to return next year. And I just, with that understanding, I was like, if this is it, I'm going to just give it everything, you know, leave it out, empty the gas tank. So. Well, Liam, man, we have certainly appreciate or we have certainly enjoyed, I should say, watching your career unfold here at Concord over the last couple of years. And, man, we wish you all the best and appreciate you for stopping by today. Thank you so much, Wes.